Some recently released data showing an economic slowdown which could ultimately trigger additional stimulus checks. Also, what one state is doing with $5.9 billion and some big changes to the stimulus package. All of that to be covered in this video. Let's get into it right away. Welcome and thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as I'm back each and every day in videos just like this one to keep you updated with all of this information as it continues changing literally every single day. I'm here and I'm very committed to everybody here on the channel. I'm dedicated to this community and I want to do whatever I possibly can to help out as we know these stimulus checks typically provide some type of relief or money for the people in some way. Stimulus checks, stimulus provisions, something in there for the people and I'm very much dedicated to finding out what is in this package once it's all passed up and everything like that and we get all the details to deliver all that information to you and make sure that you can take advantage of any and all money that is available for you to grab. So hopefully we'll get more stimulus checks in this thing. But again, let's get into it and talk about the latest information as of right now. So earlier in my video, just a few hours ago, I was saying, hey, I have no clue what's going to come out between that video and this one. And <laughs> just like every day, things are changing so rapidly. Um, it's interesting because literally it's anybody's guess what could possibly come out. Anyway, let's talk about what we have here. So some recent reports that were out talking about economic data has actually shown that the economic conditions in this country actually slowed down quite a bit over the summer as a result of this Delta variant. Now, this is like the worst news possible for economists, people in Congress, and of course, the president. Here's why. They want us, the consumer, to go out and spend our money on goods and services to stimulate the economy, right? They want the economy to be moving very quickly, fast, vibrant, strong, things like this. But if we're not going out spending our money on goods and services, guess what? The economy doesn't do so hot, right? Well, that is not a good thing. When you see a slowdown in the economy, that is the opposite of what they want to see. They want to continue to see a very strong, like roaring economy, right? So if this continues for a very long time, this could potentially trigger additional stimulus checks because that is exactly what stimulus checks are for, is for us to take that money and to go out and spend it, ultimately still stimulating the economy. Also, Goldman Sachs, who is actually a big bank over on the East Coast in New York, Goldman Sachs is like a very well-known bank. They are huge and they are very influential. They were also out recently in a report and they lowered their um, guidance on the economic uh, conditions going forward in 2021. So the growth of the economy they are actually anticipating is going to slow by about three tenths of 1% in 2021, according to Goldman Sachs. Again, not exactly a good thing when the biggest bank over on the East Coast in New York is suggesting that, uh, that there's going to be a slowdown in economic activity. Yeah, not exactly what you want to hear if you're the president or people in Congress or economists or anybody like that. So anyway, interesting stuff, right? All right, so let's talk about what this one state is doing with $5.9 billion. Why $5.9 billion? Because that is what they received as a result of the American Rescue Plan. States were able to receive about $350 billion. Well, New York just so happens to be one of the states, obviously, and they received $5.9 billion. They're taking their $5.9 billion and they're giving it to a variety of people. They're actually giving artists 1,800 artists in the state of New York, $5,000. Can you imagine that? You spin the wheel and you land on the artist button and you get yourself $5,000. Not bad, right? All right, they are also giving money to homeless people. There's $125 billion allocated in there to help out homeless people. That's awesome. I mean, seriously, that's a really good thing right there. And they also have about $60 billion allocated to help out taxis, taxi drivers, taxi companies, stuff like that. So again, that's how they're going to be using their $5.9 billion. So remember, I've mentioned this in other videos. Every single state out there right now received billions of dollars or a lot of money. It depends on the state. That's the thing. Each state got a different amount, but they got a lot of money. Every single state 
got billions of dollars as a result of the American Rescue Plan. And the president has advised the states that, hey, you guys can send it out in the form of unemployment benefits. You can send it out in stimulus checks. You can do a variety of things with it. But yes, the states can give away that money in the form of stimulus checks. In fact, we've seen a number of programs pop up in about 10 different states around the country where they are actually issuing stimulus checks or other uh, like bonus type programs. So yeah, right? Uh, pretty interesting. All right, so there's a lot going on. As we all know, the stimulus package is still open and there is one potential change within this that I just came across and I wanna share this with you. But in the original proposal of the stimulus package, there was $1.7 billion allocated with this package. Well, somewhere in the line, we don't know really where or how this even happened, but they went from 1.7 to $3.5 trillion. So it is now a $3.5 trillion package. Well, within that, $400 billion, uh, sorry, yeah, $400 billion. Sorry, I, I was getting myself confused with million and billion. We're talking billions here. There's no such thing as millions in the package. Not a trillion dollar package, not a chance. You're not going to see anything for a million dollars. It's all in the billions. Anyway, sorry, I got tripped up with an M versus a B. Billion. Anyway, there's $400 billion in this original package, the $1.7 trillion package, for... Uh, caregiving, like caregiving for seniors and people with disabilities. So basically what they wanted to do is take this $400 billion and basically help out the quality of life for older adults, seniors, the elderly, people with disabilities, things like this. Not a bad idea, right? It would certainly help out the quality of life for millions of people. It would help out a lot of different things, caregivers, all kinds of stuff within that $400 billion. Well, I just came across some information and they say they now want to cut this and drop it down to about 150, maybe 250, maybe 200 if they're lucky. So yeah, they basically want to chop this thing in half or possibly even more. So of course, all the programs in the in the package, and they want to chop the one that helps out seniors, elderly, you know, people with disabilities. I mean, really? I mean, it's unbelievable. So anyway. Yeah, it looks like they want to do that. Of course, nothing is written in stone yet, but it looks like they want to make some cuts on this package, which simply doesn't really make any sense. If there's $3.5 trillion in there, which is double what the package originally was, why would they need to cut anything out of it? Does that make any sense? The package is more than double what the original price tag was, and there was $400 billion in there before when it was $1.7 trillion. So why would they need to cut it when it's $3.5 trillion now? Uh, has anybody seen any red flags with this? Um, <laughs> seems a little bit weird to me, right? Uh, but anyway, as we talked about in the video earlier today, Joe Manchin basically came out yesterday evening and he said that he would be in support of a $1, uh, one trillion up to potentially $1.5 trillion in the form of this next stimulus package. So that's about two to two and a half trillion dollars less than where we are currently sitting. But let me throw this out there just as a quick reminder. Remember back to December of last year, remember that stimulus package? It was a $900 billion package, 900 billion, just less than a trillion dollars. And guess what? That one contained a $600 stimulus check. Now don't get me wrong, it's not $1,200, it's not $1,400, and it is certainly not $2,000. But even a $900 billion stimulus package contained a $600 stimulus check. So my point is, Regardless of the size of this package, even worst case scenario, if it is dropped all the way down to $1 trillion where Joe Manchin has said he'd be willing to support, it could still contain a stimulus check, right? Even within it, $1 trillion would easily contain a fourth stimulus check. So just throwing that out there, right? Either way, the economic data is something we want to watch. I know that a lot of you here don't really care about it. I get it. I see the comments down below. I understand that a lot of people don't really care about the economic data. I get it, it's not very interesting, right? We wanna talk about money, we wanna talk about relief, we wanna talk about stimulus, we wanna talk about raises for benefits, like permanent raises to benefits, social security, things like this. But we need to watch all this stuff very closely because it's all intertwined very, very closely. They watch this stuff. Now here's the thing. When it comes to Congress and everybody else who is a decision maker, when it comes to them issuing additional stimulus checks, it's not about looking out in the world on opinions, right? Honestly, they don't really care about our opinions. Even though we wish they did, they don't really care about us. 
That's just being honest. You know what I mean? Um, and they certainly don't care about my opinion, like me sending letters to them, things like that. I mean, they don't really care. I'm just trying to do what I can to influence them to get additional stimulus out to the people. But the, fa the fact is, they actually do look at the data. They look at the economic data to determine, uh, do we need stimulus checks or not, right? So the economic data is the actual proof in the pudding, I think they say, somewhere around this country, maybe in the world. I'm not really sure who says that, but I'm sure I've heard that saying somewhere in the world. And the economic data has the proof right there. The fly in the ointment, I think somebody else says, right? Maybe, maybe pharmacists say that. The fly in the ointment. Oh my gosh, there's the fly in the ointment, right? So then this is what it is. The economic data that they want to see to determine if additional stimulus checks are needed. That's why we need to pay attention to this because that could be like the canary in the coal mine. Oh man, I'm throwing out so many good ones. So many one-liners. I love it. Canary in the coal mine, um, proof in the pudding, fly in the ointment. What else can I come up with? I don't even know. I have no clue what's going to come out of my mouth next. That's why these videos are so much fun, right? Anyway, <laughs> all right, we got to wrap this up soon because this is just getting, turning into madness. Good thing nobody watches my videos past about five minutes and 21 seconds because that means I'm just talking to myself right now. This is great. All right, but anyway, we want to watch this stuff very, very closely because it's ultimately all intertwined so closely. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up right there, but this is the latest update. I know not a whole lot going on this afternoon, but there's a little bit of things here. And like I said, I'm very much committed to helping you out in any way that I can, of course, bringing you all the latest information through these videos. So again, please subscribe down below. If you're new here, if you haven't done so, go back and check out my, my other videos, especially that one from this morning. That is a really good one. Seriously, that's a banger. Nice, another good line, another banger. All right, anyway, go back and check out my videos. I really appreciate you, and I promise you I'll be back every single day with really bad jokes and really bad one-liners. All right, thanks for your, uh, your support. I really do appreciate it. Enjoy, and I'll catch you again later.